Good evening and welcome. It's KBC Arts. Arts and entertainment in our region as well as the people and places providing it. I'm David Fleming, tonight joined by Sahar Kajanoi. Hi, welcome. This evening it's not only a musical journey, but a blend of cultures as well. Take some hip-hop, some ambient soundscapes mixed with some world fusion and some turntable work as well. That's Audio Pharmacy. Life and corpses, high treble, deep distortion. Please meddle with tambar, Cadillacs, and cockroaches. Came from yin and gang, started with love and pain. But love's furnished in flames, so they're the same thing. Consider all these things when with the weight and screams that life has to offer often until we change. Let's just really start going around the room uh, simply enough. Everybody introduce themselves and what you do and what your part of the band is. And let's just keep it simple, just go around the room, please. My name is T.O. Sense, uh, founder of Audio Pharmacy, uh, producer. Sir, multi-instrumentalist, father of two, um, yeah, lover of life and music and uh, community. Hey, what's up? My name is Joe, and I go by Love Speak. I am the womb manager of, of Audio Pharmacy Prescriptions, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having us. What's up, everyone? I'm Roska D, um, Afro Pomo, lyricist, vocalist, keyboardist, and producer of Audio Pharmacy. Hey, I'm Nick. Uh, I go by Brass Medic. I play sax. Hey, I'm Ahmed, and uh, I'm a drummer for Audio Pharmacy, a uh, multi-instrumentalist, and um, yeah, just lover of life. Hi, my name is Becky. I go by Ramsal. Um, Tio and Joe recently welcomed me into their home. Um, I help them out with Audio Pharmacy in any way that I can. And as of last night, I'm also a vocalist hey. for Audio Pharmacy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Becky picked up a, a rasp in there as well. <laughs> um, it's Ramsal. Ramsal. Okay. So I'm I'm Jewish, and I was gifted four Hebrew names. Oh. Rivka, Miriam, Sarah, Leah. So Ramsal is an acronym of those four names. Wonderful. It's a lot quicker, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> now the, the name of the group. Let's go with that. Audio Pharmacy. As a name, when and how did that come about? And if we have to go back to Two Cents and Chaotic Souls to get to there, that's fine. Anybody can hit this. Uh, well, Audio Pharmacy, you know, we've been doing music for quite a while. I'd say uh, the, the, the name Audio Pharmacy was birthed in 2002. There was kind of like a little niche underground, like conscious poetry scene, and we were all lovers of hip hop. So, so you know, we we listen to hip hop, but at the same time, it's like you love hip hop, but you hate where it's going because it's there's so much ego and and you know money, and you know it's just it's just fueled by by so many things that we didn't really identify with. So. As a producer and instrumentalist and DJ, I was making kind of like more conscious beats, you know, more organic and more worldly. And then um, my boy Seth, who was the, uh, the, 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 the first lyricist that I really connected with, he was just a really, really dope MC who was telling stories through the art of rhyme. And mm. I just thought it was so inspired. And we connected, we dropped the album under the name Two Cents. And um, we started just selling cassette tapes in the street okay, right. back then. Uh, eventually, uh, I met my man Ross Kadi, uh, Keep Your Joy, uh, Love Speak. I don't know, the crew just started growing larger and larger, and it became more than just this kind of like avant-garde little hip-hop thing where we're selling tapes in the street. You know, eventually we started selling CDs in the street. <laughs> 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 now, so, you know, we, we kind of... Um, you know, we started traveling around, spreading the music, and that was, um, you know, in the beginning, we really just did it for the pure sake of, of you know, self-expression. And at the end of the day, so many people started telling us that they were healed by the music, and it got them through a, a, a very rainy day. And we already had created Audio Pharmacy Prescriptions for, as a record label name. But then um, when uh, we decided to consciously like change the group name from Chaotic Souls, I wanted something to start with an A and actually call my mama. So she was the one that was like, well, you know, your music is, is so healing. What do you think about audio pharmacy? 
And it was like, there wasn't even any, I don't remember any other options. It was like, yeah, that's boom. Thanks, Way Mom. Cool. Nice, yeah. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> have been around in one form or another since I, I read 1994 and you said we added a few more members I also read that at some point there were 30 people involved <laughs> that's, Maybe that's more. a few more <laughs> probably Maybe like more. a couple thousand a couple <laughs> thousand okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think we can trace our roots back to um, you know like a, I guess the core membership um, okay. in the band actually me is me T.O. And, and Keep It Joy our bass player who's not here tonight but or today and um but there's so many folks that we met along the way from the travels and touring and also back back in the Bay. So like everywhere we go, we, we meet musicians a lot of times performing, but a lot of times just out in the streets. We meet folks and connect with them and then they come to the show and then they end up bringing their instrument or jamming with us or vocalists come and they just jump on stage. And so we kind of just kind of grew the team from there and mm -hmm. um, we end up getting them on the albums. You know, we have like you know, the moment probably has like 30 or 40 artists on it. Black Native has like, I think like 30, 35 artists on it. Oh, wow. Um, so we have like music, musicians from all over contributing to these projects. And mm -hmm. then when we travel, we see them out and, you know, like, yo, come through, come play percussion, come play horn, come play violin, whatever it is. And, oh, way cool. And, and it, so. it doesn't just stop at the music either. It's uh, Audio Pharmacy started musically, but it, you know, there's no boundaries. Like, it's all art. And it's all connection and and it's community. It's community, and when you start kind of breaking down some of those barriers, it turns into just a movement where we're all connected through our our mutual values. You know, beautiful, beautiful. So it's you know that like the artists, you know, that's crew. This is Nikila Badua, aka uh, Mama, Wisdom, Mama one. Wisdom One, who did the uh, cover of this album. She's Audio Pharmacy. You know, okay, she, yeah. She she actually does sing, but some of the artists don't. You know, they they don't sing. Some of them are photojournalists or, you know, teach permaculture workshops. You know, it's, 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 there's no boundaries to this. So when people ask, what is audio pharmacy? Because I get that a lot. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, you know, you got 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So you mentioned Moment a second ago. This is the latest disc, uh, latest album, I really ought to say, since there is a vinyl pressing. And speaking of which, some people are going for vinyl just for the craze of, you know, nostalgia, I suppose. But other folks need to go to vinyl for this in particular. because There's some bonuses that are only on the heavy vinyl than the, the CD. Talk, to the, talk about that for just a bit. What can a person get on the vinyl? We're talking about moment. What can a person get on the vinyl as opposed to the, the CD? Okay. Well, um, man, that's deep because this project right here, there's there's this record and there's also the limited edition limited edition joint that's a picture disc and um, these are all numbered and signed and, and registered with who who owns them um, so basically each song on this album uh -huh. each it represents a different stage of life so it's a it's a it tells a story there's a whole plot from beginning to end the record has a uh, drop card inside you can download the I, I call it I call this album it's not an album I call it an audio cinema good because it, it, it's it's different than your regular just album and it has a visual component as well so you can download that from the drop card you can watch the album so it's basically um, told it's mostly instrumental 
featuring a lot of amazing people um, in my life and and whether they're on music or art i had various artists do art pieces for each song and um it's genreless every every song is a different genre nice so, yeah nice. i'm really excited about the cinema element the visuals absolutely stunning and I can't wait for our audience to get a sneak peek because when I saw the stars painted across the sky and then I felt this it brings like a whole new energy to the music and it really you're right gives you space to think and to interpret and then to take whatever, wherever your mind is at at the time to take that journey with you wow you guys really mastered something phenomenal you're about to enter into a new life Actually, the mind of the individual stone is already present. And then the mind begins to open up itself and its samskaras and impressions and karmic account and from there henceforth the body gets created. <laughs> that I appreciate that earlier you referred to it as audio cinema like a sonic soundscape sort of thing that you're really you're painting something complete uh, with these various textures or layers that you're doing I appreciate so much the album not just the fact that it is on vinyl but the fact that it actually feels like an album there is a beginning mm -hmm. and a flow like a mm -hmm. good story it'll come up and then finish off it's not just uh, Something I'm glad that I think we're getting away from is the age of the digital download, where people don't really care about the album per se mm -hmm. as a complete work, but they're looking for tracks three, five, and seven, and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really, really happy to see folks putting the thought mm -hmm. into a, a complete story, whether or not it is a concept album, the fact that it does have some sort of a flow. That's, I wish we would all get back to that music line. Yeah, and summing up, in summing up the moment project, the collaborations on there are my friends, it's family, and um, you know some extended family, but definitely people who are on the same vibe. My brother right here, Ahmed, he did some edits for the for uh, one of the audio cinema videos. Ross is on there. We did a uh, concert live in Solomon Islands, excuse me, and that is actually in there. He spits a verse. It, it's taken directly from a field recorder. This guy's performing barefoot on stage. This is this is great. Stand up, put on your boots, ready to march, throw the fists up, look at your troops, ready to stop fighting. What you fighting for? Freedom and rights, that's what I'm writing for. Saying I'm freedom and rights, that's enough. What you fighting for? Freedom and rights, that's what I'm writing for. Saying freedom and rights, that's what I'm writing for. Saying I'm freedom and rights, that's enough. What you fighting for? Freedom and rights, that's what I'm writing for. Saying I'm freedom and rights, that's enough. What you fighting for? Freedom and rights, that's what I'm writing for. Saying I'm freedom and rights. I remember at some point in the show, birds just flew out like oh, over nice. the stage and cue the birds. But, one, one, <laughs> one. Uh, when a uh, Rasta guy just hops up because everyone's se seated and there's like, you know, it's in this amphitheater, outdoor amphitheater, there's like, you know, maybe like 5,000 people in this place or a couple thousand. And, and, you know, there's a bunch of little kids and all different ages and like, but it's like indigenous people like Solomon Islands, you know, and they're just like barefoot and like chilling, you know, island people, you know, and, and, and all of a sudden like, you know, they're all seated in the front on, just on the ground. And all of a sudden this, this Rasta guy some local guy, he just jumps up and he starts feeling it and starts dancing and everyone starts screaming like, ah, 
<laughs> and then the birds just like flew off, like all the birds that were there and just like started flying off. And it was like in the middle of our set. And nice. Just, you know, just epic moments where you just, you know, you're on the road, you're only, you're only in it for that experience. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, you know, you take those things with you. you that know, made sure. that experience. That yeah. is really cool. That is uh, very cool. Yeah. And that's super cool because you're, you know, performing and it's such a diverse and eclectic group and then you bring this indigeneity to the stage mm -hmm. and to the album and it's fantastic. And I know that you have a Pomo background. I should have you introduce yourself. Please. Uh, Simwa Ma A Raskadi. Um, I belong to the, um, to the uh, Makamo Mahilakana people from uh, Dry Creek and Geyserville. It's Northern California, one hour north of uh, San Francisco. I um, also belong to the Habida people, uh, the mouth of the river, and also belong to the Kashaya um, people, where my uh, my maternal my maternal grandmother's from. And, um, so yeah, just uh, that's where I come from. I think it's super cool because, you know, there are so many tribes and you know indigenous people represented. Like you don't really know everybody, and then you discover, wait, what's the name of your tribe? Mm -hmm. Like, what does your song sound like? Can you say hello? Mm -hmm. um, do you have any songs from home? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we. I grew up singing traditional songs. Um, my my family are traditional singers. Um, my grandmother is uh, our yonta, our spiritual leader, and, and um, she's kind of it's a matrilineal society. So we pass down, oh, wow. pass down these um, traditions through the through the through the mother and the grandmothers. Um, and so we belong to our mother's home. If you get married into somebody else's home, you get married into their their mom's home, traditionally, and so. Um, that's the that's the way that the that the songs kind of get passed and the ceremony keepers they they they're the ones that carry the the ceremonies and so, so um, yeah I grew up singing and dancing with my with my my family my my aunties my mom and you know my brothers and sisters and stuff so it's really unique to to, hey, be, to be a part of that oh, you know to be Tio's a mind that. reader <laughs> <laughs> would you please <laughs> grace us with a song yeah yeah I can sing, I can, I can sing a song this is our this is our traditional instrument. Um, this is called a uh, high bata bata in our language, and um, this is a clapper stick, um, and it's just a piece of split wood. This one is bamboo. Um, and there's different ones. We we use elderberry wood. I made this one out of elderberry wood, um, but there's different different kinds. Um, but it's just a piece of split wood with a uh, with a uh, kind of a um, a piece of um, a hole cut out of it to like project the sound. Um, so that's what you're listening to. And we we say high bata bata because it kind of sounds like that. High bata bata. It kind of makes that sound. Um, but um, but yeah, that's uh, our traditional instrument. So I'll, I'll offer up a song for um, for uh, the FNX team and uh, yes. for all of those uh, folks that are tuning in right now. And uh, and um, this is a pomo song, traditional pomo song from Northern California, from uh, from Point Arena, Manchester uh, Reservation in English. And in, in our language, we say habida, which is uh, ha, the mouth, and bida is the river, so mouth of the river. And um, where I come from, it's uh, we're we're right next to the coast, and so um, um, you know we have different different kind of songs, but all of them all of them kind of um, are revolving around our water our water system, the Garcia River or Habida in our language, um, and the mountains um, where the where the rivers run from, um, Makamo Mahilakana, the, the two male and female mountains. Um, so we so we kind of all of our songs kind of revolve around you know the space you know and the, the earth there. Um, so I'm going to share a song from uh, from uh, Point Arena, Manchester, Habida.
song's done in our culture, we say, oh, it's a, it's a way to say it. So it's, you're saying yes, actually, but you're also saying, like, yeah, that was, that was not cool. Yeah. You know? Cool. So, yeah, but a little bit about that song. That's a, um, a, one of our dress songs. Um, and the women, um, they, they dance dress songs in ceremony. And there's certain sets of dresses that come with, with the dreamers or the, um, the yonta, the spiritual leaders for our people. And, and um, that song is one of the dress songs, so it's like a really... Um, it's one of the fast dress songs, so it's when people maybe will be doing prayer or, or doctoring in, in, in our ceremonial house. Um, so that's, that's kind of the history of that song. Excellent. That's super cool because that's how you say yes in Navajo. Oh, oh okay. Which, mm. rumor has it, there's a, a member missing today. Who's missing uh, here? Uh, Desiree. Desiree. Uh -huh. Desiree. Yeah. And she's also Dene. Navajo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's um, Dene. Yeah. yeah, she's part, yeah, Dene, and she's also Mishawalapo. And we are so sad that she's not here with us today. She has prior ob obligations with other projects, but she sends her love and she wishes she was here. Yep. Love from Desiree Harp. Love to Desiree Harp, too. And gorgeous, gorgeous voice. And you really see her, like, the song be there uh, in the video. Wow. The two of you, like, you know, you have such a strong voice. She has such a, such a strong voice, and the instruments just create this gorgeous, like, song with this texture, and it's like, be there. And, and then the lyrics, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, when the well runs dry, and, and it really has so many meanings because, you, you know, you're touching on activism, and you're touching like, on, on yourself, and, and then bringing it all in with the gorgeous chorus, and we have soundscapes, and visuals from, you know, you're singing in the desert, and then she's in the mountains, and... Oh, that's one, yes, yes. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's snow, and sometimes deserts. That's the one, and, and some city, too. No one to turn when the well runs dry. No one to help you when the hope crop die, yeah. No one to hear you when you ask God why. No one to hear you when your heart starts crying. Yeah. Too much struggle. We actually filmed that video in, uh, in Joshua Tree, which is oh. down here. So, yeah. and we drove through the Joshua Tree, so it was, it was pretty cool on our way here. You know, kind of brought me back there to that video too. We took off late at night, and we ended up in Joshua Tree like at five in the morning. So we like drove all night and like filmed all day long, and then slept. Oh, how cool. The next day. <laughs> so, and then and then the other part of Desiree's part was filmed in Yosemite, and mm -hmm. so um, you see like the beauty of Yosemite, like mm -hmm. a piece of the beauty of. Yosemite. I mean, you can't even explain the beauty of Yosemite. I mean could try but right. it's just so beautiful there that that song in particular is from this album um mm -hmm. from the, this album called state of the heart mm -hmm. and um this album was uh, produced after two years of traveling with our core band members me to keep your joy um, pasha brown uh, as a vocalist and our, uh, our drummer kwami um and um that's pretty that's our crew right Every um time, yeah, yeah and, and so we 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 did a we did um two years of uh as music ambassadors, cultural cultural ambassadors for the uh, American Music Abroad program, um, and um, we we traveled all throughout the South Pacific, Fiji, Samoa, New Zealand, Solomon Islands, Indonesia, and uh, and then the next year we went we, we went back and we went to uh, Morocco, Cyprus, and Oman, and, and and so this album was kind of created as like our set list for those for those tours, and then when we came back, it was like okay, we've never actually recorded a 
a live band album like in the studio hmm. and we wanted to experiment with that and so this was kind of an experiment like to see because we usually incubate a lot of our projects like T.O. did with Moment is just in our home studios mm -hmm. and like we can really f tune in and focus on the edits and get everything sounding how we want and you know when you're in the studio it's like you're on the clock you're like sure yeah. you're paying by the hour so you're like we gotta just do it quick you know but but when you're at home you're just like oh I'm chilling I you know get a drink of water go do my thing <laughs> and really get focused in on the edits and EQing everything and just getting it real nice sounding and so you have a little bit more flexibility mm -hmm. but for this project we went into fantasy studios in Berkeley and really had an opportunity to to, to record in a different way, kind of like old school style, like how they, we set up all the instruments and actually play all the same room, you know, like the, the real musicians. The, the, <laughs> album, the album is virtually our live set. Yeah, it's basically our, li our live set, just recorded live, um, what we do live. Um, so if you want to hear like a closest to what we sound like, this this is the best state of the heart album for you. No hurry, your heart can't worry as I rise up early just to greet that sun. No worries as I write this story. I'ma teach someone we can. No hurry, my mind ain't worried, and our vision ain't blurry. We gon' reach our queen of our set. No hurry, no stress, no worries that we gone and bury what the world got for me. Stress is never my dress. Less stress and I'm blessed. Blessed, blessed and I'm best. When left, blessed and at west. Deep asleep is my breath. Yeah. Protect your neck and that chest. Huh. Text reminds me of sex. Best left for what next. Clap your hands if you love mama. Stomp your feet if you love father. Prosper, that will be proper. Making green, but off the liquor shots up. Or maybe something less drama. Temptations eating like Dama. Traumatized by that timer. Modernized the vibe of them dollars. Dollar made them all shallow. Swallow made the leash collar. White collar kill mama, talking about damn it's gonna be long summer. Things will make you just wonder, what drugs are they under?